tonight. A new restaurant that set up shop at the site of a former strip club will be allowed to stay open, at least for now. Bucks, Racks and Ribs took Greenville County to court today, saying it was unfairly targeted because of the space's prior tenants. 7 News reporter Dave Jordan is joining us live from the courthouse with a lot more on the hearing today. Dave? Well, Bucks, Racks, and Ribs applied for a permit to operate as a restaurant inside the old Platinum Plus building, but the county maintains it began to behave in ways that mirrored the previous tenant. Our rules are clear. If you want to be a restaurant and you don't have a special exception, serve all the cheeseburgers you want. But don't put ladies dancing around poles. Don't provide lap dances to your customers. Heated words this morning from an attorney representing Greenville County in its case against the owner of Bucks Racks and Ribs. At issue is whether the new restaurant now open for business at the old site of the now shuttered Platinum Plus Adult Nightclub served up more than food. Last month, sheriff's deputies cited the new restaurant for violating the adult entertainment ordinance. New tenants came in and applied to be a restaurant, and it's obvious that they had. Uh, some sense that they could do something more than that. Well, that's not the permit that they asked for, and that's not the permit that they got. Platinum Plus shut down last summer after numerous complaints and citations for lewd behavior. Earlier this year, a county ordinance for sexually oriented businesses was amended, making it a violation for those businesses to operate within 1,500 feet of a residence. But defense attorney Bill Bannister said the new rules should not apply to Bucks because the owner of the building is grandfathered in under the old ordinance. They want to be able to enforce the new ordinance without granting the tenant, the due process to test in court whether that ordinance ought to be applied to them or not. And again, it's all ordinances. Judge Perry Gravely did not rule on the issue of the ordinance, but did allow the restaurant to continue its operations. Now, Judge Gravely said that the county can continue to monitor the restaurant and also cite it if it falls out of compliance. Another hearing is slated for later this month. We are live tonight outside the Greenville County Courthouse. Dave Jordan, 7 News. All right, Dave, so there is this question about the ordinance itself. When does that get resolved? How does that get resolved? Well, that's what they're going to talk about in the hearing that's coming up. We should mention that when Platinum Plus was opened before Amy, there was a different ordinance. After the building closed, right. that ordinance was updated earlier this year. Sure. So the argument from the defense is that the building is under the old ordinance and not the updated right. ordinance, and that is what the county is pushing back against. A lot of this needs to be unpacked at that hearing that's slated in about two weeks. All right, we'll hear more about it. Thanks, Dave.